Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to RimWorld, where today we're going to get started on a new colony on a new world. So let's head in, just pick a nice random seed, and let's go. What do we get? Ah, oh, looks great. That's our world, everyone. Fantastic. Let's put a colony on the world. We're going to go with Cassandra Cat Classic. Uh, last time we played on Base Builder, but this time we're going to put it up to rough difficulty. And yeah, let's do it. So where do we want to start? Eh, probably in the forest. Temperate forest, mountains, sandstone. Something like that, yeah. Sandstone, slate, limestone, mountains. That looks great. Let's do it. So now we need to find some colonists. Specifically, we need someone who's good at shooting to go hunting. We need someone who's decent with cooking. We need someone who's good with medicine. And I would like someone who's got some skill in mining, growing. Farming's going to be important. And also research. So we'll see if we can find someone like that. This person, it's an all-rounder, but I don't think they're very good. Um, double interest in animals? Nah, let's re-roll. Crafting 10, social 8. Hmm. No, re-roll. Medicine and cooking. Here we go. This is something I'm interested in. Medicine and cooking. This person can stay home and cook all day. They have nothing they can... Okay, they can't clean. But they can do everything except cleaning. Yeah, looks good. All right. So you're going to be our cook. Uh, a doc... Cook. Doc cook? There you go. Excellent. Did I really spell that wrong? Doc cook. Wow. We have a programmer... Who's good with animals, good with construction, okay at shooting, okay at research. Actually, that's pretty good research. This could work, but they can't mine. I kind of want our starting crew to be able to mine. I think that's important. Although this is not a bad person at all, especially since it's an optimist. Let's see. Heat tolerant, volatile. I don't like that. Nope. Abrasive is not terrible. Mining nine. Cannot do intellectual or art. So you can't do research or art, but you can mine. This looks like a good starting character. Just mine all day and then do construction when you're not mining. Sure. And the last person, we need someone who can hunt. So shooting skills. We've got a doctor and a cook and research. We've got a miner. So we need someone who can shoot I'd like someone who can farm, but eh. Oh, this person can shoot and farm. Cannot do cleaning, though. No, we need someone who can do cleaning. Let's see, shooting seven. Shooting nine. Hard worker, research. This looks excellent. All right, excellent. So you're our hunter. Call you, um, Deadeye. Fantastic. So we have DeCook, who's also our doctor. We have Miner, who's only a miner. We have a hunter, who's going to be hunting. Excellent. Let's try it. Oh, before I hit start, I have to stop recording. Oh, I hate that. Fraps does not record properly from this window to the actual in-game. Like when it loads the map, it crashes Fraps. So I have to stop fraps for now. Hold on. There we go. We've all loaded up. The three of you awaken your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before your ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Excellent. Wow, is that plasteel? Holy crap, there's a ton of plasteel right next to us. Oh, and we got a husky. Oh, so good. Huskies are great because they can do hauling. All right, unblock all this stuff. Unforbid, I mean. Unforbid that. Unforbid the steel. Where's the steel? There it is. Zoom out, unforbid all the steel. It's just everywhere. Okay, excellent. So Deadeye is going to get our rifle. Does anyone else have any shooting skills? Three... Four. Okay, you can have the pistol. 
I guess you get the uh, melee weapon. Not that you're going to use it. All right, and where's the wood? There it is. So now we have to decide where we want to build our base. This looks like a nice nook. Very defensible. But it might make more sense just to build into the mountain. Oh, there's a power plant right outside? Sweet. I think what I would like to do is build into the mountain. Just put our base in the mountain and um, wall all this off and make it a death trap. Probably fill this little gap with wall so they won't go through there. And then wall this off and put our turrets in here. Yep, looks like a plan. All right, let's get some... Oh, is anyone a night owl? Abrasive and steadfast. I'm going to recycle dull, cross to file, and hard work. No one's a night owl. Good. So everyone's schedule shall be some joy and a bunch of work. There we go. I'm using the EDB mod, and EDB mod adds the little character icon to the top here. You can see their health bars. Uh, you can see their, if they're, you know, starving or whatever. Other things up here will, no will notify you what's going on. And it also allows you to, uh, you know, adjust schedules for all colonists at once. It also allows you to make squads of people. I don't even know what squads of people do. I'm just going to ignore that for now. Uh, but I do like this indicator at the top. It's really useful. So first things first, we're going to put in a zone for uh, some blocks, just in case we need to get blocks out of the way. Where's the best farming near here? Oh, look at this good farming right here. Wow, that's nice. That is really nice. That's a huge patch of dark soil there. And another steam vent. Beautiful. Uh, why don't we put a stockpile right here for temporary crap. 15 by 15 should be fine. And this is just going to be general stockpile. So clear all. And what do we want to allow here? No rotten things. Uh, food. Yep. No stone blocks. We'll put stone blocks in a separate pile. Items, weapons, apparel, body parts, sure. No corpses. Okay, so we need to assign stone blocks and chunks to another one, and then we need rotten and corpses in another one. And these stockpiles, they don't, they don't really do anything. They just sit there and take up space. And just temporary things, really. I eventually want to move all my stockpiles indoors, but for now, this will do. Uh, let's put this one here. And this will be for chunks. All off. Chunks on and blocks. And then the last one I want corpses and rotten. And that shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, human corpses, human corpses. That shouldn't be a big deal. We shouldn't have too many human corpses. We'll just put them here in the corner. Turn it all off. Rotten and human corpses. Okay, excellent. So guys are there, and a guys are here, and a guys are here. We got three geysers right next to us. All right, let's designate some farming areas. Let's see, five by ten. Is this gravel or is this dirt? It's gravel. Okay, I don't want to build on the gravel. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to farm the gravel. At least not if I can help it. All right, so this will be potatoes. How wide is that? One, two, three, four, five. Is that five wide? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five wide. Okay, your potatoes. And that's the default one. So next to potatoes, we'll put rice. One, two, three, four, five. Or corn, that's fine. And next to that, we'll put rice. Oh, look how much fertile soil there is here. It's amazing. My cats are going bonkers. Because that's what they do. 
Let's see, rice, potato, corn, strawberries. And it's important that we set up some Zerygium right away. I think we can hold off on cotton for now, but we need Zerygium right away. And Zerygium is probably going to be a 10 by 10. Is it? Well, no, probably not. 5 by 10 should be fine for Zerygium. And Zerygium is what you get your healing, your medication out of, your herbal medicines. And I will put the cotton down here, but we're going to set it to not be... Actually, you know what? Let's put Devil Strand here. Devil Strand is so more important than cotton. And we'll just grow it everywhere. Devil Strand has this problem. I I'm going to tell them not to seed it for now. Devil Strand has this problem that it takes forever to grow. It's crazy. So you just set it up and you come back to it, you know, years later and then maybe it's done. All right, so this is going to be Devil Strand. I'm going to tell them not to farm it yet. Let me say, don't sow it. So the others will be sown, but not the Devil Strand. Let's leave it alone. All right, now do we need to start putting up a little base. I think I'd like to just dig in somewhere. Where do we want to dig in? This is just going to be a mining area. Put some batteries in here or something. This is going to get dug out entirely. Silver ore. Okay. Probably back here. Well, it might be too far away from our farm. All right, we'll do it right here then. Okay, so in here, we're going to have a kitchen area. Well, let's put in a hallway first. Okay, now we'll put a kitchen in here. Actually, is that deep enough? No, it's not deep enough. Well, uh, yeah, it should be okay. What am I talking about? It'll be okay. We'll figure it out. All right, there's our kitchen. And we need a freezer area. Freezer area is going to be huge. And let's get the kitchen done first. Let me turn it off. The rest of this tunnel for now so just dig up to the kitchen first okay and who's going to do all these all these tasks well the miner's going to be on mining one cleaning and hauling should also be on one research turn off crafting turn off uh plant cutting on two so that's just like uh cutting trees down for wood Repair and construction on two. Farming on two. Who's our farmer? Not you. There's our farmer. Okay. Well, I guess they can all do farming as a secondary task. But we don't have a dedicated farmer. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Alright, hunting one. Looking at one, wardening. We don't really have any wardening to do yet, but put it at one. And handling animals. Just leave it at three is fine. Cooking should be at one. Okay, looks good. So since they have no other tasks than mining and farming, they should get to work mining and farming. We're going to have one person doing the mining and two people doing the farming. Um, I think I'll have a second person help with the mining for now. All right, so the first thing they're doing is mining. And then we have our farmer. He's going to start just moving stuff to the stockpile zone, for, the designated stockpile zone for now. And once they're done moving the stuff to the stockpile zone, then they'll start planting some seeds. Looks good. So 
we're going to pull a couple names. By a couple, I mean three. We're going to pull a couple names from Twitch chat. And my cats are going to kill each other. Good job, kitties. So we're just going to put some beds in here. Some wooden beds. And it's just a temporary place for beds. We're also going to put in a wooden wall. Or maybe I shouldn't use a wooden wall. Maybe we should use a cooler. I mean, we're not going to be using... We're not going to turn these on yet, but might as well put a cooler here with a door. And when we have electricity, we can start using it. But for now, this will provide an enclosed area that's considered indoors, which will make people quite happy. So the first night, they're going to sleep outdoors. That's fine. Wow, she's back to work, huh? Yes, eat your food. Our dog's name is Shizuka, a one-year-old male husky. Sweet. Yeah, we're going to need an animal bed, aren't we? Well, we don't have any cloth or anything yet, so as soon as we get some... I can put a sleeping area down, though. Uh, animal sleeping spot. Bingo. It actually has 100 hit points. Why does a sleeping spot have hit points? Just like a line on the ground. <laughs> I don't know. How much wood did we start with? Let's see, 300 wood. That should be plenty for a few beds, yeah. And 680 steel should be plenty for these uh, two coolers that we have. So the first thing we're going to need in here are a butcher table and a um, campfire. We're not going to have a cooking stove until we have electricity. So clear out some room for a butcher table, please. Actually, who's our constructor so I can have them start constructing? It's a construction of five, one, and three. Mm. I guess it's going to be miner for now. I mean, he's really good at mining, but we need someone to do construction and he might as well do it. So, Mr. Miner, I'm going to take you off mining for now. I'll just put construction up to one. And that'll cause to um, build these things that we want here. While Cook continues to clear out an area for the kitchen, Miner's going to make some beds. Hopefully several of them. Make some beds. Eating some food, huh? And then you're going to go to bed. All right, that's fine. Tomorrow morning, she'll go ahead and finish all the construction. No problem. Deadeye is still hauling stuff. Every day hauling stuff. When the hauling's done, they'll start farming. There really isn't no rush. The rush for me is getting the uh, the base dug out. We need some place to put out some, some bedrooms and a dining table and all that stuff. our door. Nice. It'll still function. It's an auto door, which requires electricity, but it'll still function without electricity. It just won't be as quick. All right, we now have an enclosed space. It's walled off. Beautiful. Four beds, and she's back to mining now. Perfect. Deadeye is cleaning. Cool. Although I guess cleaning isn't the most important task. How about we turn off turn off cleaning for now? Focus more on farming, please. There you go. Now you're farming. Now you're farming with gas. Okay, it's time for our butcher table. And a campfire. Did we get names? Let's see, we got names. We got Avenir, Dutch, Pickus, and Lave. Excellent. This is what's great about having Twitch chat is there's constantly people here 
And I don't have to be creative at all. They came up with all this shit for me. Just raffle the names. So easy. Look at that. Perfect. Done. Me be creative? I think not. Still have 130 wood. That should be plenty for the bench. 95. And that's enough for the, the campfire as well. Perfect. And our dog is sleeping indoors. Good job, Shizuka. Ah, it looks like you'll be staying here a while. Avenir Dutch is suggesting that you give the colony a name. Oh, man. Sparland. I don't know about Sparland. Let's call it... Let's call it... Oh, right. Of course. Mole people. Because they live in the mountain. They don't live outside. In my first playthrough, they lived outside. But that's not going to happen. Okay, we're going to set the campfire up to cook forever. Because it would only last uh, four days. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, hunting, construction, repair, and growing. Ah, okay, construction. That's fine. And then she should start farming. Perfect. Yep, farm away. Nice. Man, having this dense soil here, or dense fertile soil here is really good. Okay, next thing to do will be to dig out some more stuff. So let's dig out the uh, fridge. I won't dig out all of it. Let's say stop there. We'll dig out the rest of it later. But they can dig out this much. The fridge is going to require a double door. So dig this out. We'll put a door here and then a door here. And then this will be the fridge. And we'll have two more AC units out here for the fridge to keep it cold. Keep all the food preserved. All right, excellent. Visitor from Struggle Stream. Hello. Hello, Arison. What's up, Arison? Oh, look at that. 18 research, but she's a psychopath and slothful. Yeah, you can just walk on by, Arison. Pretend you saw nothing. So who are the factions we deal with in this in this game? Let's see. We have a, a tribe, a hostile pirate band, an outlander town, another outlander town, and another outlander. Oh, this is new. I've never had three outlander towns. It's usually two pirate bands and a tribe. And the difference between a pirate band and a tribe, you can see they both say hostile. The difference is the tribe, you can make them stop attacking you. If you capture and release enough of their prisoners, uh, you can make them stop attacking you. But the pirate faction will always keep attacking you. That's interesting. There's only one pirate faction. Very unusual. Psychopaths are good. Well, they can be good. But she's got a bad back. She's slothful. Eh, still probably our best researcher if we could grab her. I mean, we can't grab her, but still. Why don't we start setting up some electricity? Now, where do we want to put our electricity? Um, maybe back here? Make this into a battery room? That'll work. Sure. Let's see, this thing takes up two tiles around it, and then we need one more tile for a wall. So one, one, two, three. That should be enough room. And why don't you just put it up further? One, two, three. That'll work. One, two, Three. Okay, set up some wind power and some solar. Now, we don't have enough steel for this, but we can start digging out some steel. 
eventually. Oh, good, they're out here cutting trees. More wood. More wood. Yes, cut all the trees. We struck gold ore, really? Holy shit, our freezer has gold in it. Y'all want some gold in your freezer? Excellent. Let's put in a couple batteries here. Ah, oh, it's not the right size for batteries. Mad animal. The hell? A squirrel has gone mad. All right, let's put it on hunt, I guess. Mm hmm. Not my problem. I wonder if that mad manhunter thing will go away. I hope so. I think when it sleeps, it loses Manhunter, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Will it sleep? Psychic Drone. Really? Every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. Wow, okay. So it's causing people to feel worse. Do we have any men, or are they all women? Female. Female. Male. All right, we have one male. So Lave is going to be feeling poor for a while. Hideous environment, feeling terrible. Psychic drone. Oh, it's only a medium psychic drone. It's like nothing. I am worried about the environment, though. So let's put everyone on clean for a little while. Check out our home zone. Don't think we need to have these designated as home. Certainly not the corpses. The farm should probably be home, yeah. That's a lot of cleaning, though. Let me cut it down a bit. You know what? Just delete the, um, delete that growing zone for now. So we can get it out of the home zone. It's just too much shit. I don't want them cleaning all this stuff. That's better. Go to sleep, you stupid squirrel. God, he's fucking psycho. And now Pick is going to get attacked. God damn it. Yeah, there, Pick is. Missed. Stop trying to go out there. There's a fucking squirrel out there. He's crazy. But Lave, go get him. You're already in a bad mood anyway. There you go. Good job, Lave. Oh, Pickus. So what happened to Pickus? Mad squirrel attacked. Aw. Right leg and right hand. Left leg and right hand to scratch. Aw. Poor Pickus. Lave's actually going to use medicine on her? I don't fucking think so. I don't think she needs doctoring for a scratch. Oh, but it's... It's no big deal. Fine, go ahead and use your fucking medicine for a scratch. <laughs> All right, let's set the butcher table to butcher forever. So who are, whoever our cook is, that's going to be cook, 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 cook. That's going to be Lave. He should start butchering that squirrel. There you go. And cook it up. Pickus is cleaning home. Nice. And now we're going to make this a zone for frozen goods. Go ahead and put a door on it. So no rotten. Food, yes. 
manufactured everything that's medicine, yes. Um, raw resources? I don't think so. Ops? No. Items, weapons, apparel. Body parts? Yes. Chunks? No. Human-like corpses? Colonist corpses? Stranger corpses? No colonist corpses. And animal corpses? Yes. And I think that's all we need in here. I'm not entirely sure. We can adjust this as it goes on. But that should be a good start. There you go. So he's keeping food in here. And he's back to mining. He made one meal out of that squirrel. Yeah, squirrel doesn't really give you much meat. All right, so what's everyone doing? You're cutting an oak tree. Nice. Electric's going in. Start off with just a couple batteries, I guess. We're going to need to mine out some more steel very soon here. All right, and I think what we'll do is we'll connect this way. Yeah. So why don't we mine out right here? Like that. And we'll run the wire this way, and then we'll just fill it back in. You know what we haven't done yet? We haven't set up any defenses against a raid. And we will get raids. Oh, a wanderer joins. A villager named Squirrel has arrived. He is an engineering pilot. Excellent. Well, we'll check him out in the next episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. It looks like we got a nudist in our midst. I hope he's not like 80 years old. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.